Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Object 6 for Part 3 of Module 1. And not usually going to do this, but now that the problems are becoming a little bit more repetitive, we're going to start to analyze the pattern of all three problems before we get involved in any individual problem. So, remove array values from an object, remove number values, and remove string values. So if we think about that, let's organize our thoughts in the remove array values in pseudocode, and we're going to try to have this apply to any of these three problems. So the first thing, if we need to remove values, we need to look at all the values. So if we want to look at all the values in an object, or really in anything, we're going to iterate. Iterate over the obj. Now here's where we're going to be a little bit, um, almost like a template about it. We're not going to necessarily remove array values. We're going to check if values are of given type. Maybe like given or certain. And then if they are, remove current value. And the fun part about this, well, fun might not be the word for it, um, interesting? The interesting part about this is that we're going to use this exact same pseudocode for all three of these. I would not advise solving problems like this for a beginner. Uh, this is mostly to demonstrate that the same concept is pretty much being applied in three different fashions here. So for this one, we want array values. So the only part of this problem that's different from any of the other problems here is how do we determine if a value is an array? So how do I tell if a value is an array JavaScript? First result is array.isArray. That seems promising. The array.isArray method determines whether the passed in value or the passed value is an array. Seems reasonable. So let's use that. We're going to iterate over the object in a similar fashion to our previous iterations for key in obj. And then we'll say if array dot is array of the object at the given key, which would mean the value. And we could say is equal to true, or we could just leave this because if you figure this is an if statement, so this expression is going to be true or false. So we don't really need this triple equals true. But it might make it a little bit easier to read, especially for a beginner, so we'll leave it like that. If the current value is an array, delete the current value. And we're in good shape. Next one, very similar. We're going to iterate over the object. You may think, why don't I just copy and paste? Your ability to write what I just wrote there, uh, you're going to want that to start moving faster. And the only way for that to start moving faster is for you to continually write it. That's kind of the idea behind some of module one. So I would advise writing it over and over again. Copy and pasting your pseudocode, again, not ideal. You're probably going to want to get used to writing that as well. But for demonstrative purposes, it's okay to demonstrate that all three of these problems are essentially rather similar. Check if the values are of a certain type. So. On these ones, we want number values. So we want to make sure that the type of object at key is equal to a number. If it is, we're going to delete the object at the given key. Oh, let's make sure that that works. Okay. Iterate over all the values, or all the properties. Check if the current value is a number. If it is, delete it. So, should be humming at this point. For variable key in object, this time we're looking for string values. If the type of object at key is equal to a string, uh, not return, delete object at key. So, iterating over all the properties. Check if the current value is equal to a string. Check if the type of the current value is equal to a string. And then if it is, delete the current value. Now when I say current value, all I mean to imply is that if we're inside of an iteration, if we're talking about a value, it's easy for us to imagine that the current value is whatever we've made it to in the iteration. The next would be whatever happens next. Previous would be whatever happens previously. Next and previous are not nearly as important for iterating over objects because next and previous are probably more important for arrays given that arrays are ordered. But current is usually a good way, especially in pseudocode, to reference the current value or the current key or the current property. 
And again, objects have properties. This object has two properties, name Sam, age 20. Each property has a key and a value. So thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one.